Hi, it's Wolf from StoneyCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this is my latest tutorial. This is a fun little project. It is how to make a miniature ballista. A ballista is an ancient siege weapon. Um, the ancient Greeks and the ancient Romans used it a lot uh, for warfare. And it's actually quite an interesting thing. It's reminiscent of like um, the gastrofeats, the belly bow. And uh, these things could actually get really, really big you know, the size of an automobile and shoot, they can shoot bolts or even projectiles. Uh, wonderful thing about this project is I give you everything you need, well, practically, you know what I mean, um, to make it. I have it all figured out here, all the various parts of it. So you can use foam board to print up this template, make the parts, glue it all together and have yourself your own little ballista. Fun project and fitting seeing as my website is stormthecastle.com. So let's launch into how to make um, a miniature ballista out of foam board. Uh, but first we will do the introduction. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's fire it off. I think fire is pretty good. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, let's get started. Let's look at the piece, parts you need to make this project. A piece of foam board, the template, three toothpicks, 10 inches of quarter inch dowel or paint brushes that you can use instead of the dowel, a straw, some string, and for tools, a pencil, something to cut with, and a hot glue gun or some kind of glue. So let's get into it. Uh, print up the template. The, the, the link is in the description of this video and cut out the pieces. Now trace those pieces onto your foam board and you only need one piece of foam board to make this. And then cut them all out. And they're all numbered to make it real easy for you to build. Now four of the pieces have holes you need to cut in them like this. There's eight holes in total and the template shows you where to put those holes. So mark them and then cut out the holes. That's for the torsion springs to fit through, the skeins of, of string that we wrap. So let's build it. Part one is the base. You add part two. Part three. Part four. Five. Now the runway for the um, bolt is six. Seven. And eight. Now all the upright supports. And you need all these supports coming up for strength because for, you're going to pull the string nice and tight. So. This is, and this is going to be triple speed, nine. And notice the way that notch is facing us. That's important, 10. To get that orientation right on those parts, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So now all our uprights, our support uprights are done. Then you put the two top pieces on, 17, 18. That's it. This is pretty much built. There's a few details to be done. Looks good. Now we're going to wrap the skeins to make the torsion, the torsion springs. Get yourself a can, wrap 10 wraps of string around it to form a hoop. You can use a bottle, anything round, doesn't have to be a can. Then tie a piece of string on it, and the piece of string you tie on it is just so you can feed it through the holes in the, in the, in the, in, in, in the siege engine, like that, see? 
and then pull it through like this. See it? Pull it through the holes in the ballista like that. Now put one of the short pieces of dowel that's an inch and a half long, like this, on top. And put another short dowel on the bottom to all the hoops. That's an inch and a half long also. I don't know if I said that, but you need four pieces inch and a half long and two pieces two inches long. And you can use paintbrushes if you don't have dowel. You could probably use pencil too. And then put the two inch piece like this through the middle. And then you're going to twist those up to tighten it. So twist the top one. But you don't twist the top one all the way. There needs to be even amount of twisting both top and bottom. And then twist the bottom one. And that way the that two inch dowel falls right into that notch, right in the center. See that? That's why we put those notches on, pieces 9, 10, and 15, and 16. So twist the top one or the bottom one so it's even. And there you go. Kind of like it. Do the same thing on the other side. Fun little project. Um, to keep it locked in place, you can put a hole and then stick a toothpick in it and trim that toothpick. And that way it kind of holds it with, from unraveling. And that's a fun little project. I got a bunch of Siege Engine projects here on my YouTube channel. You might want to check them out. But um, I give you everything, you know, it makes it real easy for you to make one of these if you want to make a ballista. Kind of fun and make it this size or make a bigger one. If you make one, send me a picture. I will put it on our website. Put a little glue on it to hold it and lock it in place. Now the trigger. Pre-drill the, the trigger hole with a, your toothpick or pin. It makes it easier. And then about a, a half an inch up from the end, you pierce it through like this. That toothpick is about a half inch up from the end. And there you go. The trigger mechanism is ready. You can glue it and um, trim it. So now the string. The string can be a little bit tricky. Tie one end and then put a dab of glue on it to hold it. You can even cut and notch that um, dowel. It's actually kind of nice to do that way. But you can tie it on there and then um, tie it over to the other end so it's short. So this way, when you pull it, it pulls it pulls it to like pulls it tight when you load it on the trigger. And I could have made my string a little bit shorter to pull those in even further like that. But that's okay. I'm going to go with it. I actually made three of these. And then put a piece of tape on the string so that's what hits the straw. And it's just better. The, you know, one string like this is kind of tricky to hit the straw. But if you put a piece of tape on it, it hits the straw well. And that's it. You have made a ballista. A straw, put a piece of um, paper in the end of it to form an arrowhead, and you've got your bolt. Load it in like that, and it's ready to fire. You are ready to storm a castle. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Lots more stuff on my website. How about a ballistic knife, a Spider Man a web shooter, a miniature crossbow, and a 10 foot trebuchet? Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment.